this is a coincidence, but it's the best picture. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story, a story about myself. I'm an artist, and artists have dreams. And my dream is, I want to make water for everybody, everywhere. Doesn't matter. Uh, last year, summer, we built a, a huge sculpture at the terraces of Museum Beeld and Zee in Scheveningen. And once in a while, there was an explosion of water in the air during six months. But what nobody noticed was that we made the water out of the air. With solar panels a bit offside the sculpture, we generated electricity to power a dehumidifier, and all the water from the air came in the reservoir, and it was filled, it splashed over the sculpture. Everybody was looking at the sculpture, but we, at that time, tested for six months an off-grid system to generate water. Complete off-grid. The next series that we built, that were the two systems that you uh, saw, separate uh, elements. One was a power station, one was a water maker. General Middendorp asked us, do you want to test it in Mali? And we said, of course, great, fantastic. So we went to Mali, we started, and we looked at the result, and we said, whoa, a couple of drops. And we were looking there, what's going wrong in the system, and we noticed that conventional technology is based on a lot of air going to the surface. The air makes a water drop, goes down, but it evaporates. So we said, that's not enough. We want to build a machine that works everywhere worldwide. We returned and have some fantastic news. We designed a complete new method of condensation. And this is really a revolutionary uh, piece of technology that helps us a lot further. We noticed that the best way of generating water is doing it by water itself. We bait a pipe, a tube, and we pumped very cold air inside the tube, and the water is sucked in the tube and condenses within a second. And in this system, ultra clean, you have no evaporation, and you don't need a fan anymore. The second that we invented was, we have a solar panel, but we don't want that huge batteries. So during the day, we only make cold. And during the night, when the sun is down, we use this cold for the water cyclists to generate new water. The only element that we need in our system is a very small battery for the pump to pump the water around. We tested it, and this is really, really, really unique. I'm proud. A member of a team of Peter van Geloven, Hugo de Vries, Petra, and that we did it. Thank you very much.